Howdy, howdy, everybody. I'm Gomer, and welcome to the Coffee Pub Diaries, not the Coffee Pub Podcast, as I erroneously posted when I posted the uh, previous episode over on Twitter and Blue Sky. Oops. <laughs> I, I also posted corrections, because you can't edit the damn things, well, at least on Twitter, if you don't pay for it, because that should be a paid feature. <sighs> but uh, we'll get into that another time. Um... But the title card had it right, and I believe I said it right in the episode proper. So, all is good. Second episode in, and we've already got mistakes. Yay! <laughs> and speaking of mistakes, because I live in a downtown area, um, there the first time I tried to record this, there was like some... There was like, I don't know how well it come, came through in the recording, but there was a car just like going into the parking garage that's right next door, and it was it was loud. It was like <laughs> loud. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, this mic is pretty good at at uh, filtering out sound, but sometimes things do get picked up. And in addition to that, it was also backfiring a little bit. So yeah, they <laughs> so yeah, uh, I could I couldn't fully do the show after. After that one, but I did keep it as an outtake. Um, and if you want to hear that outtake, um, I'm going to make that a Patreon exclusive because I want to reward my patrons for something <laughs> other than just like early access, which, yeah, this the first episode wasn't as much of an early access as I would like it to be, but I was also under a bit of a time crunch because uh, that was also the weekend that uh, Becky and I went out for her birthday dinner. Uh, I had Portillo's for the first time. That I can that I can even recall, and it was just really damn good. Uh, the only problem is the only the that is the the closest sit down uh, Portillo's near me is like clear on the other side of this. In fact, it's the next te- next city over, and it's just oh no, <laughs> that's too far for me to Uber. Um, otherwise, otherwise it wouldn't be an issue. I could just drive over there, but I, I don't have a car. Um, I do I do drive a truck, but it's not my truck. Uh, you know, company driving and all that good shit. Um, speaking of truck driving, oh my god. So, this is a thing that happens extremely rarely overall to me, but it is something that's happened twice since I've worked with, started working with this company. It might even be the same trailer. Um, but, uh, I was, I was in St. Louis, uh, delivering a load and, you know, everything went fine as I was getting it in there. They unloaded with no issue, although I think the guy working there uh, doesn't get paid enough for this shit, and he, he it shows through his attitude. And, you know, and honestly, I don't blame him considering where he works. Um, but, you know, I, I, I get finished, and I go to pull out, and it turns out not only has the uh, latch to keep the trailer door from, like, swinging everywhere while you're moving around, and not only has that come loose, so has most of the hinges on the fucking door itself. So I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up slowly, you know, because, you know, it's an old trailer. And I see the door just kind of just swinging out, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. So, uh, so I, I, yeah, I, I, call it in like I'm supposed to, and then uh, with, with, the, with the encouragement and, and support of the uh, dispatch crew, you know, I get it secured enough to where it can get it, we can get it to the shop. The problem is the shop is four hours away in Indianapolis. <laughs> but, you know, when, when it's secure enough, it, it's fine. Um, thankfully, it wasn't the, it wasn't the door that you close last when you, when you close the trailer, because the way you do it is when you open it, you open it from the right side when you're facing it, the right side and then the left side, and then you reverse it when, when you close it. Uh, thanks, it was that left side that was hanging off, so I could easily secure it in there. Um, if it had come all the way off, oh boy, <laughs> we probably would have figured out something, but yeah, that was, oh, I'm, I'm just glad it, 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 uh, wasn't worse than what it was. Um, so, uh, so yeah, okay, so the last last episode, I read off the Reddit post about the uh, thing, the thing, uh, gotta, and I do, I do still have it on hand, I just gotta pull it up, because, you know, was prepared to talk about it, and I had more to say about it as I was, oh, here it is, uh, as I was driving this week, so I'm trying to do this by memory, because I'm driving, I can't exactly take notes without, without invoking the, the, um, the thing, 
the name that I will not say, but also shares a name with a uh, porn star. That one. Um, so yeah, uh, I actually read that to Becky, and she kind of agrees with me that 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 when you when you marry into somebody to a family or whatever, you should be you should be helping out. And and I like to get different. Um, you know, I like I like to get different viewpoints whenever I can, so I can have the most informed opinion. And yeah, so <laughs> and surprisingly, none of the Reddit podcasts that I've listened that I normally listen to have yet to cover it. Uh, not that's not to say they won't, but they just have yet to cover it, and it's just uh, I, I, it still blows my mind that there were so many people in that in that Reddit thread. On that person's side, like, oh, no, not your problem. It's not your kid, not your problem. It's like, who the fuck? Why, why the fuck have people gotten this way? And, and I admit, I've, I've kind of fallen that way a bit here and there, much much to my own shame. Um, but it's like, wh- where, where, why? Like, like, um, like let's say uh, I end up with, with a, a woman who has kids already. Should it be not my problem if because because those kids aren't from my loins? No, because you marry a person, you marry into everything they have. All the baggage, the baggage comes together. You you know you have your individual baggage and you help each other. You know, like like Becky and I, my girlfriend Becky and I have been together for almost ten years, and we both came at it with with some pretty but pretty baggage on our own on our own ends and we drop some we pick up new baggage and 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 that's just the way it goes you know that's a partnership you help your partner and in the in the reddit story from last week the whole point is your partner is needing some help and for whatever reason it has to come to you is it a little annoying that you're volunteered for it as as this person said yeah a little bit but at the same time you, you do have some responsibility as as your as your uh, as as your, as a spouse to at least try and help, especially if you have your own income and can pitch in for at the very least a nanny. So yeah, I, I just wanted to give like a little uh, you know a little follow up to that one because that was on, one of those many things that was on my mind this week. <laughs> oh lordy, uh, but. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I, I actually kind of, I kind of like having the Reddit stuff to, to kind of talk about. So, I didn't intend on this being a uh, Reddit uh, Reddit Pat podcast or anything. But you know, it's whatever. It's something in until I can learn to take some better notes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's just things are things are weird, man. Things are just fucking weird. Um, no, before I do any kind of Reddit stuff and, and to give myself time before I have to actually look it up, um, I'm probably going to sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> oh, there we go. Uh, so, um, so yeah, I've discovered a new YouTube channel uh, that was actually suggested to Becky uh, last night, actually, called Clapped Seal. And what he does is he cover. He, he's one of those uh, drama channels, you know. They cover his drama or whatever. Not on, not on the, not in the uh, sense of oh, sensationalized or whatever. It's just it's one of those where it's like okay, he's commenting on it, he's discussing it, and he's being as fair as he could be. And he's covering like he's lately been covering like uh, furry fandom drama. Uh, you know, just people in and around the furry fandom and all of that good shit. And the reason why it was brought to our attention is uh, his latest video is on Verlicify, who, who is one of the more infamous people around the uh, Pokemon, especially the Pokemon competitive competitive community. I well, not just competitive, but just in general. And that was like I hadn't heard of that guy in several years. What the fuck he do now? Well, he's apparently become a very bigger narcissist. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> but. But there are so many other things that have just popped up on here. Some things it's like, oh no, uh, yeah. And and I do admit sometimes I do, I do like a bit of drama here and there, just to, if nothing else, to have something to talk about and to maybe reaffirm or readjust my own thinking on certain things. Um, and and some of it is just plain enjoyable because the people involved in the drama are just getting their comeuppance and. I kind of like that. <laughs> when bad people get their comeuppance, I like that. Um, which I think most of us listening to this 
would 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 a would a uh, would a figure would figure the same thing. Uh, so all right, so oh, so I got a brand new one here from uh, Am I the Asshole? Um, this was posted 19 hours before I I even started this podcast, uh, this episode actually. Um, Am I the asshole for belittling my sister and saying she shouldn't demand her husband help with the, with their baby at night? Oh, boy. My husband and I, 29 male, 27 male, hey, went through the sur- surrogacy process and had our son four months ago. We were thrilled when my sister, 31 female, announced her pregnancy and we found out we would be having children very near the same time. Our niece was born, well, our niece was born a little over two months after our son. My situation and my sisters closely mirror each other. Our husbands both work typical 9 to 5s with 30 to 45 minute commutes. My sister is a stay at home mom, and I do freelance work from home. For the first two weeks after our son was born, the first of which my husband took off work, we both take partial night shifts. Once I felt like I had at least some of my bearings on parenthood, I offered to take over completely on weeknights while he does mornings before work and weekends. It's a collaborative process, and that breakdown of parenting just made sense to me. My husband was the one leaving our home to work every day, and he was the one who had to be up at it by a specific time and make a drive you know what nothing wrong with that they communicated it they talked it out they figured okay this is the best way it's going to work for us they agreed on it they put the plan into motion communication oh my god it fucking works (laughs) Uh, at four months we no longer have this obstacle anymore and to be honest i kind of miss the sweet quiet bonding time those extra night feeds provided now that he settled onto a nice sleep schedule and usually only wakes up once. Still, I think we got it down to almost the perfect science before we exited the newborn stage. The newborn stage. I, I just I, I just like the wording there. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like you're talking it's like you're talking about a, 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 little, a little well, I mean humans are technically animals. Uh, <laughs> uh, my sister on the other hand is still very much in that phase and struggling. I'm I'm going to guess now Bear in mind, I read all of these uh, raw in live, so so I don't I don't look at the beforehand other than the title. And in fact, with this episode, you you heard me just look it up and get it here. Um, let's see, uh, this has been a recurring problem for her from the beginning. Uh, yeah, that's where I was. She has been coming to me saying she's scared she's going to fall asleep holding the baby, that her husband won't help her with the night feeds, etc. I've tried to give her tips about, I, since I've been through it. I suggest that she let her partner take over in the evenings, around 6 to 9 p.m., so she can go to bed early and catch a few more hours, nap when the baby naps, etc. She shot down everything, saying that wouldn't work for them, and that she just needed her partner to do some of the night feedings. I reminded her that her husband is the one commuting in the mornings, and falling asleep while driving was a very real possibility, and that I had lived through it, and so could she. Then I offered to watch her daughter for a few days so she could catch up on sleep. She took major offense to both of these things. She said I was belittling her experience and acting like I was a better parent. She said I couldn't truly empathize with her or give her valuable tips since she had been pregnant and I hadn't. And that the me and that me offering to watch my niece just felt like me saying she needed help raising her own daughter. Um let's see. Uh husband will help with the night feeds. Uh she let her partner take over in the evenings so she can go to bed early and catch a few more hours. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that was OP's suggestion there. Uh, my intentions were definitely not malicious, and I'd like some outside perspective here. Am I the asshole? Um, and, and clarified, yeah, I'm a man. Some people saw some people calling a woman in the comments. Just wanted to clarify, even though it's, you know, right up there, 29 male, 27 male in the, uh, you know, in the OP's marriage. Um, <laughs> um, there is a small update to it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for that and give my initial response, and then we'll see if my response changes when I read the update. Honestly, it seems like OP is trying their best to try to suggest here this that and all that. It's like it's like let, let's see. She's worried about uh, falling asleep holding the baby. Um, husband won't help with the night feeds, and you know even even working nine to five. I mean, uh, the OP, you know he he. They took partial night shifts, at least at first, and then, and then once OP got some of his bearings, he took over on weeknights, and then the the then the hubby did like before work on weekends, which is totally fine. I, I think that's a good idea, and it sounds like that's what he was going to try and 
and and uh, advise his sister to do too. Um, you know, it wouldn't work for them. Um, and and it's like she was seems like the sister's husband, the brother in law, is just. Kind of playing up like, oh, I do all the work. Why should I have to do any of this stuff? You know, he's trying to leave all of the responsibility on his wife, which you shouldn't do. Like, no, no. You, 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 the, the, the OP, the OP couple is very much doing it better. And, and I'm going to say it, doing it a little bit better or at least doing it a little bit easier than the sister. Just, and that's because of that communication and because, the, the OP and the husband are just, hey, you know what? This is how we're going to do it. And apparently there was none of that communication between the sister and her hubby there. Um, all right, so uh, small update. Um, oh, is that – oh, there was a small update. Oh, there was a small update uh, later on the, in the same thread. Okay. Uh, they do give a TLDR version, but I'm going to um, read the whole thing. Because, you know, content. <laughs> and plus, I am curious. Uh, our surrogate and her husband are close friends of ours, and now we, we closely kept in the loop of every part of the pregnancy. Uh, once our son was born, we gave them a gift basket and included a lot of items women in my life online said were help, helpful, helpful during postpartum. Still, it wasn't a topic that we discussed in depth very often. We would ask how she was feeling. She would explain a little bit to us. Then we would move on from the topic at her own comfort. She's someone who, unlike a lot of people in the comments, loves being pregnant and, to my knowledge, had an easy postpartum journey as well. Uh, still, I was ignorant on the recovery timing. I knew two months out that everything wasn't perfect, but I've learned from this comment section that it takes up to a year for a person's body to recover. Pregnancy, childbirth, and childcare on top of it sounds like an incredibly exhausting process for sure. I know I've made a pot, lot of people angry with this post, but I genuinely want people to know I never meant to offend them or my sister. I didn't mean to make... I didn't mean to discount those who experience pregnancy. I've actually talked to my sister on the phone since making this post, and we hashed it all out. Good. I apologize for not taking the full scope of her feelings into account and offering up solutions that she didn't explicitly ask for. She accepted my apology. She says she was just really upset that day and me not siding with her completely and not just letting her vent sent her over the edge. Going to do my best to be more mindful and supportive of her now. It's also clear to me that I won the baby lottery and that a lot of children don't sleep through the night for many more months, and sometimes years. I've always known we were lucky with how easily he went down for sleep or naps, but I didn't realize it was to this extent. I'm going to cherish it even more now and hope that this post doesn't bring us some kind of bad karma when it comes to future baby number two being a terrible sleeper. Thank you for all the feedback. Sorry again for causing offense. Um, yeah, I can, I can, yeah, I can, I, I can see that. I can, not, you know, yeah, uh, I will, I will say that. You know, based on everything here, okay, sure. If you're if you're coming at it in in in, in a different way, because yeah, we we men we we don't we do not experience the physical shit that women go down, and hopefully anybody who listens before and gets up to the, will get up to this point because this is a good thing about this podcast is you get you get to hear well as close to live as possible as my thought process is going through all of this. So, but yeah. What I'm getting, what I'm also getting out of it as well is the, again, the brother-in-law seems to not really be stepping up. That's, that's the thing that's still sticking out to me. Like, yeah, OP could have, you know, could have maybe been a little bit more tactful with things and maybe not go ahead and just start popping suggestions, uh, you know, just because, you know, sometimes, sometimes people don't need that. And, and yeah. A lot of us, sometimes we need that mental thump in the head, just like, hey, asshole, she didn't ask, shut up. <laughs> so, you know, and and that sounds like what's happened here with the OP. But again, I'm still, con it still concerns me that based only on the info here that there seems to not be much in the way of communication between she and hubby, between the uh, uh, sister-in-law and hubby. Um. But I, I, again, again, this is only going by what info is there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Uh, he does acknowledge... Okay, okay, so... Back up to the TLDR, uh, accepted apology. Husband, and and he, the OP does note that his husband clearly been, has been taking on many more parenting duties than hers, and she and her, she and his niece both deserve better than that. Which... 
Yeah, that's that's the conclusion I'm coming to. Um, LP is, eh, I would say, only asshole because, and in the, in, in the very light asshole at that. And it's a, I call it circumstantial assholishness uh, because it's like you you weren't you know your your intentions were good, but you just kind of fucked up a little bit. <laughs> so it's it's only by it's only by the barest bit, and and even then. With reading the edit, you kind of you kind of redeemed yourself from assholery on that one. So, so you were a little bit, but you got better. So, and uh, I think every, I think the uh, sister-in-law needs to have a good talk with the hubby, uh, <laughs> with her hubby. Um, yeah, yeah, that's 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 just the thing. And again, if you guys have any you know any input you want to put in on this one or or anything else I read out or talk about on this. You know, feel free to leave a comment or whatever. And um, oh, right, uh, I have been meaning to uh, set up the RSS feed. I didn't have time to do it last week because of the uh, dinner, birthday dinner with Becky, and also just having to get back out on the road first thing the following morning. Um, and then also, I need to get these uh, set up for YouTube on a whole new YouTube channel. And also, if you noticed them on the post from last week. I have a whole new web space for these things. So <laughs> that is Coffee Pub. I believe it's coffeepubprod.com. So anyway, uh, the site itself, I am I am wanting to I am wanting to expand and like have not only my own shows, but I do want to eventually have other shows brought on. Kind of like the site that I've been using, RT Gomer Productions. Um, and truth be told, I do kind of want to once once I get uh, things ready and and get you know get the you get the nerve up. Uh, message everybody that's still uh, currently posting over there to like migrate over here. So we're all under one space. But I want to get this set up a little bit first, um, and then once this is set up, then we could do the migration, and then everything should be hunky dory. Again, a lot of it does have to do with me needing to um, get up the nerve to do it because it's been it's been a bitch. I can tell you that much. Um, CoffeePubProd.com. That's that is the actual site. Uh, that these uh, are going up on. They, you know, there will be YouTube versions eventually. Uh, once I figure out the RSS feed, you can get, put them in your podcatchers. Um, but you know, beyond that, that's about only only where you're gonna only way you're gonna be able to find and listen to it. Uh, just keep your eye on my socials um, <laughs> for that one. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so we did the Reddit thing, did the truck thing. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else I needed to go off on this week. Um, actually, uh, no, not this time. Um, but you know what? You can always suggest some things, some things you're curious about. Um, I may or may not talk about them on a future on a future episode. Who knows? It just depends on how much it interests me, or or whether or not I can get some good stuff out of it, or if I have a lot of thoughts at all on it. Um, but yeah, so we, I've been going for about a little over 20 minutes. I think that's good enough for an episode <laughs> if, if you're doing solo. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you like what I do and you want to help support me, patreon.com slash gomer21xx. Uh, little as a dollar a month will get you uh, uh, early access to all future episodes and things that I produce for myself. Um, and also, uh, we'll get you things like outtakes. There's going to be a Patreon only outtake file going up there as well, along with this episode. So if you're a patron and you haven't seen it already, uh, look forward to it. <laughs> it's, it's not a big thing, but it's, it's something that's like, you know what? I'm going to keep that as an outtake. Um, hopefully, and I need to remember to, uh, get the conversations going about this. I want to get like a little theme song put together for the show hopefully it'll be in the next like a uh, couple of episodes depending on time and money and all of that good shit because it's bill's time <laughs> oh fuck capitalism anyway um if you want to find me on the socials um link tr.ee slash gomer to one double x is for most of them except for blue sky it's not on there yet but um it's the same handle over on blue sky if you want to find me there um yeah, that's going to do it for this time. So thank you guys for listening, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and until next time, this is Gomer signing off.